Beijing rolling out the red carpet for world leaders, complete with dancers along the route and light. It was a red carpet never seen before. The last time we saw a public display quite like this was, frankly, in the Hunger Games. U.S. President Barack Obama has urged China to be a partner in underwriting international order, not undermining it. We are living through uh, one of these historic defining times. I think we are seeing a new world order. One of the biggest music stars on the planet is under fire tonight. Queens native and rapper Nicki Minaj is being criticized for a new video she released that some say invokes Nazi imagery. The lyrics alone are too racy for us to broadcast, but it's the imagery in rapper Nicki Minaj's new video that's causing controversy. Critics say the lyric video for the song only is filled with Nazi-inspired images. In it, a cartoon of Minaj sits on a throne like a military dictator surrounded by red banners. There are even soldiers before her wearing armbands featuring the logo for Minaj's record label. They resemble swastikas. Obvious symbolism right there about relating to Nazis is a little bit strange, especially coming from her. You need to be careful with some of the things you put on the TV and the internet, yeah. especially with the youth nowadays. They're going to start following some of the things that she does that aren't that appropriate. Check out this clip of a lady who thinks that monster energy drinks are the work of Satan. And She's got the facts to back her up. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name Monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. Big can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> MILF, stick it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monsters ad. This is their statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people and product, so can Satan. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft? When the cross goes upside down bottoms up and the double laps. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into the Christian home and a Christian's life and it breaks God's heart. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. The Brownsboro High School student has been arrested after threatening graffiti was found in a boy's bathroom at the school. Parents have posted these pictures of that graffiti. The school isn't confirming that this is what was found in the bathroom. That student is charged with terroristic threat on a public entity, which is a third-degree felony.
A disturbing image hidden inside a toy purchased at a local dollar store. A mother bought her toddler this princess wand at the dollar store behind me. Imagine her surprise when the curious little girl peeled back the foil to find this image of a girl cutting herself inside. You don't want to think about little girls picking that up and thinking this is normal you know, or funny or interesting or any of those things. The owner of the store tells me he will not be taking the item off of his shelf unless he receives a complaint directly from a customer. Tonight is where you stand before God. Shut up! Before it's too late. Shut up! We can all be saved Shut tonight, up. and I pray that you turn and repent before Thank it's too late. Me. Turn Thank from me. your sin. Blah, 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 what is blah, sin? Blah, 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 well, God blah, gave his blah, commandments blah, blah, blah. so that we could see our sin. Stop talking. No one listens. And see, because of our sin, Shut that we need to turn to God. Potholes should be quiet. We need to turn to God before it's too late, just like the rich man. The rich man didn't turn to God, and it was too late for him when he stood before God in heaven. He wants to hear you. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. Jesus, blah, blah, Jesus, blah, blah, blah. That, Don't think that your own good works will get you to heaven. Nothing will get us to heaven but Jesus Christ. It did not take long for the city of Fort Lauderdale to make good on its promise to criminally charge those who violate a new ordinance that effectively outlaws groups from feeding the homeless in public. On Sunday, the city charged three people, including two ministers and a 90-year-old homeless advocate, and they could face up to 60 days in jail for their so-called crime. I fully believe that I am my brother's keeper. Love thy neighbor as thyself. 90-year-old Arnold Abbott prepares hundreds of meals each week for the homeless in the kitchen of the sanctuary church. But Abbott's work now has him in trouble with the law. Why is he being arrested? Shame on you! Shame on you! He faces possible jail time and a $500 fine for feeding the homeless after he was charged Sunday with violating a new ordinance that virtually outlaws groups from sharing food with the hungry in the city. One of the police officers came over and said, drop that plate right now. And so I was carrying a weapon. Also charged was a minister from Coral Springs and Sanctuary Church pastor. A story that's probably going to outrage you. High school football team in Delaware forced to change a post-game ritual of praying after an advocacy group gets its hands on this photo of the team's coach and his players gathered in a holy huddle.